The countdown to Christmas is on, and our mailmen and women are ready. We're less than two weeks away from the big day, but they spend all year preparing for the holiday shipping rush. Today, we walked along the route with a local mailman to find out what it takes to get your packages and cards delivered on time. I guess we're just going to go out and uh, do a little delivering and some holiday cheer and uh, get these customers ready for their Christmas. Mail carrier Jacob Studer isn't letting anything slow him down. Not even dogs. Oh, Mashed potatoes and gravy. I love it. I've been doing this ever since. Uh, for 10 years now, I've been doing this, and I've loved it ever since. Walking with him on his route in an Arden Arcade neighborhood today, we see firsthand just how much mail there is. Well, it's just been building every day. I mean, more and more people are just getting stuff shipped at home. And so, of course, the volume of the mail and all the packages has just been getting more and more. But before your mail gets on the trucks, it's got to be sorted first. We definitely have been amping up for peak season all throughout the year since January. And, you know, the increase, obviously, with the package delivery, everybody wants those Christmas gifts. So we're prepared. The postmaster says nationwide, the Postal Service has installed 249 additional sorting machines in the field units. One of them is in Sacramento, with the capability to process up to 3,500 packages an hour. COVID obviously affected every business, no matter how big, large scale, small scale. Um, we, we adjusted and we followed all the protocols. We got through and we're, we're back staffed and ready to go. The Postal Service says it has converted 100,000 part-time employees to full-time employees. They've also hired 20,000 seasonal employees and continue to hire for added support. Yeah, and Chris, it's worth mentioning the Postmaster tells us that they're going to be busy for a long time, all the way up until April, pretty wow. much, processing returns and shipping all that stuff that people buy in those holiday sales, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> That's probably going to be us, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we do have a breakdown of shipping costs on our website, easy to find, abc10.com.